My nigga have a yep. good time my wrist up. This is Steady Mobbing This is episode Let me double check what episode this is I always fuck this up Oh man, oh, man. I always Five, fuck this up I'm gonna guess So, Five, so, one, so uh, <laughs> It's pretty close I always fuck it up um, Whenever I'm editing and I'm like oh, Fuck I fuck it up No it's 5 1 8 uh, Yeah 5 1 Eight. Eight. And if it's if it's if we fuck it up, it might be five one nine. <laughs> I got Brooklyn to the right of me. Hello. I got Glory to the left. West side, mother. <laughs> <laughs> yo, he's, yo, he's extra fucked at that. Um, no, for real. I wanna I wanna give a big shout out to Brooklyn. Brooklyn is gonna be our third mic. Yeah, yeah make some noise. Like yes. A lot of mercy. <laughs> We decided unanimously um, that Brooklyn is going to be uh, with us on our journey. Yes. Um, Why? Why did you pick Brooklyn? What was it about Brooklyn that made you? It's it's something about Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah. What was it? It's just something about her. Yeah. Her style. Everything. Her intelligence. Everything. Her beauty. Her 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 her, her, her charisma. Voice. Yeah. Every, her it's voice. all. It's it, we checking it all. Everything. We're checking it the all. Grill. You gotta show the grill. Where's her? What's her camera? Look at that. Woo! I think her camera's right over there. Right over there. <laughs> That's 29 carats right there. Stop nonsense before you have people try to like. <laughs> yes, welcome Brooklyn. We would have had her. We would have had her on the last couple of episodes, but uh, you know, personal situations came up. Everything's good with you now. Yes, yes, yes. I'm All right good now. Are Bless you? Up. Are you like thinking, thinking to yourself and being a part of this team? Do you have any apprehension? Anything that you may be nervous about, or um, any concerns? Anything at all? No, uh, you guys are a whole vibe. From the first time that I met you guys when Destiny did yes. her interview, I told Destiny you guys were a whole vibe. We felt it. We felt the energy before we even walked in here. Remember, we had conversations outside. Yeah. So we kind of got to pick each other's brain and things of that nature. Yeah. And then it was like when you guys asked me to come back, mm -hmm. it was mad fun. Yeah. So I was like, why not? And then the fact that you guys even believed in me off the rip from just meeting me Absolutely. and actually asking me to come back. You guys, I wasn't even sitting here talking to you guys. Yeah. So the fact that you guys even asked me to come back, I was just like, I, I can rock with these dudes. Right Absolutely. Here. Appreciate Absolutely. The, appreciate it. We can't, we can't fake the funk. No, no, no. Black yeah. Mark came to me with the idea. And I was in Greece, but I'm like, we got to let her try out. Give you know, test it out, test out the waters a little bit, see how she does. You do I knew you'd be perfect. I'm like, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 <laughs> like, no, no. And we need a villain for the show, so that's gonna be you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I, uh, with a couple of the posts, especially the ones going after Toronto Man's, I could see that doing really good for us. You know? Oh my god! Uh, you know they're still wiling over the uh, the treatment in the Jamaican restaurants. People are always commenting like, "Why are you gonna go to the restaurants if you're gonna get cheated like shit?" It's like. I'm it's hungry. Not that we, at the end of the day, we go there because we're hungry. Yeah. We know what the service is. It's like McDonald's, certain McDonald's, Jane and Finch McDonald's, they give attitude. But you go there because it's not about them. It's about the food. I'm hungry. Yeah. So I'm still going to support, but yeah. I know what it comes with. But we're just telling you so you can fix up. If you don't want to fix up, that's on you. It's crazy. Just people just commenting over and over again. But well, you know what? I am glad that people are actually paying attention. They're engaging. And there are actually a, a vast number of people are in agreement with us that, yeah, these people people need to improve their customer service really you know do. so it's like you said man either fix up or you know at some point i think the disrespect is just gonna grow old and people are just gonna get tired of it and just be like you know what fuck you guys yo speaking of uh, the jamaican restaurants <laughs> why not oh yo oh your God. fucking uh, your viral moment on tiktok was stupid yeah 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 sunrise sunrise <gasps> sunrise sunrise hold on wait that was you behind the camera? That was him. That was, that was you? Come on. You didn't, you didn't, Shut you didn't, up. You didn't recognize the sexy voice? Did I oh have to God. stop the nonsense? That was him. That was me. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I didn't order it. My sister ordered the food. And then I heard my niece walling out saying, what is this? What is this? <laughs> and I'm thinking to myself, maybe my sister ordered some new type of food, some new cuisine. Maybe oh, it's a uh, you know, hybrid between Filipino food and Jamaican. maybe something <laughs> from you know the Middle East. And I saw the food and I'm like, holy frick, what is this for real? <laughs> and I pulled out my phone. I'm like, yo, this shit looks like they, they found it from behind the stove. You know when food oh falls God, in, like, no. in the cracks? Oh, no, Lord. I'm not. no, I'm serious. Like, it I looked was like, tough as fuck. It looked crazy. Well, I got a question. Was it rice and peas or was it steamed rice? It was rice and peas. Rice and peas. It looked like steam rice. 
<laughs> now that I'm thinking about them, I'm not even it sure. looked dry too. They yeah. don't even look like they put. Definitely, the festival was dry. Um, the planting was hard, like you know, poverty life. Uh, uh, the oxtail. There was oxtail there. There was yeah. oxtail on that plate. I think it was oxtail. The man no. said, I think. that's that's what that's what my sister ordered. That's gross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the videos like it's still doing crazy numbers. I think on TikTok it's. Maybe at 240,000 views. That's wow. Uh, 2,500 comments, thousands of shares. And once again, people agree that Sunrise needs to fix up. But the problem is there's layers to this. People are saying the food is subpar quality because Indian people are buying up the franchises. And that's a reflection of their standard, not of the Jamaican standard. But who's in the back cooking? Oh, that is a very, very controversial take. Very controversial. Okay, I'm but seeing a lot of those comments. Who's in the back making the food? It's nobody's making the food, apparently. Yeah, apparently the food is like pre-made and they just microwave it and serve it. It's, yeah, it's packaged. Yeah, so that's another level. So you can make you can make the uh, you can put the curry chicken in a bag. This is not jail. Yeah, yeah. We're not doing. And you that. freeze it. You freeze it, and then when you're ready to cook it, you, pull you know it what's up. crazy? Red Lobster does that too. A lot of restaurants, Stop. a lot of places. Yeah, yeah for sure. I red Lobster to, does that. Yeah, I used to. I used to manage at a Red Lobster. Yeah, yeah. Majority of their shit. Yes. What? What, what are they? What are they? What are they? What are they defreezing? Um, a lot of the soups are not freshly made. A lot of those. Um, yep. believe it or not, some of the, like the mac and cheeses and stuff like that, that you guys be get well mm-hmm. over in the States and shit, but shit like that, like microwavable. Yeah. Yeah. Half of the shit, like the Brussels, I'm um, sorry, not um, the asparagus, all of that microwavable. Jesus. So, so you're not really only the steak, the, the shrimp is microwavable. And the lobster. Shrimp is micro. No, I. What are you talking about? Eating. The garlic shrimp? It's already pre made in the thing and they put it in the. In the stick with the stick? Yeah. No, I hate it. <laughs> what are you I talking about? Everything is pre made from the day before. No, I hate that. Straight shrimp. from the superstore. That's buddy. disgusting. <laughs> you think that you really think that they go out, buy, buy shrimp, come back, and. No, sweetheart. That's delivery. Yeah. Delivery. Every, well, like, Red lobster is like Friday. considered like a high class restaurant. No, the the lobsters don't get it twisted. Yeah. The lobsters that are in Not the tank, class, those right. are real. Yeah. Yeah. Those are real. Yeah. But like for the, show. the lobster tail and stuff. Yeah. Come on, they're pre packaged and you just put it. And in for that reason, thing. this is why we need to have an interview with the founders of Sunrise or maybe a Sunrise uh, restaurant owner because we want to get to the bottom of this shit. Because you know the bottom of what. They're tough planting. Well, you trying know, to figure out yeah, what's going on with that. I mean, I just want you know some entertaining content. I think it'd be funny, but at the same time, there are questions that people are asking. They're like, "Yo, like you know what's going on with the standard of food, and then you know the whole Indian aspect, buying up the franchises, and then calling it Jamaican cuisine." It's Disrespectful to right? me. You know, it's so yeah, crazy. Um, I had Sunrise in Scarborough on more on uh, Kingston and Lawrence, like like ten, fifteen years ago. Mm-hmm. I liked it back then. Yeah, it was good back then. 10, 15 years ago? Yeah. Is I. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Amelie Khan porridge? Yes. Yeah. And the I also food? think it's just certain no. lo- certain locations that are, because I, I hate to think that every Sunrise location like sucks, right? No, if they, if they deliver to one, they deliver to all. So all of them are yeah, not TSM. That's, yeah. yeah, that's a good point. But I, I feel like point. I, but I, when I was there in Scarborough, I, I, it's an old woman coming to bring, bring me the food. Like she was in the back cooking, like. I don't think it was franchised back then. That's what no, I'm no, saying. No, 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 like no, no, no. when they first started out, and you, you know, when you first come from the from the from the ground up, like you're grinding yeah. all that type of shit. Your heart and like soul. Like your in heart it. and soul. You're putting the love into. Mm-hmm. You could taste it in the food. Yeah. When they start making little money and open one two franchise yeah. somewhere else, is where you could taste the difference. Where I'm making money now, yeah. so I don't have to do or, or put in as much work or yeah. as much love yeah. into the food anymore. Mm-hmm. And I tell people all the time when I eat, I love to when I eat, I love to be able to taste the love in people's food. Like you could tell. When somebody just wop up something and give it to you, yeah, yeah. opposed to they actually take their time and put their effort into that shit. That's what happened to Sunrise when they first started. Mm-hmm. It's like Main Shaw when Main Shaw first yeah. started. Mm-hmm. Main Shaw was popping. Yeah, yeah. Then all of a sudden they they Western they went from Western Road. They took it to Jane and Finch. Then they put it Scarborough. All, Scarborough, all these different places. Yeah. yeah, they started to make a bag. So now they're like, okay, yeah. boom! I don't have to be in the kitchen. Uncle doesn't have to be slaving in the kitchen anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. You understand yeah. what I mean? So he maybe lives, they, he lives in Kleinberg. So now. maybe they just need to get better microwaves then, or something. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm yo, just saying. <laughs> yo, speaking of content, um, did you see how much like other TikTok, TikTok like sketches sketches came out Who? from your shit? Like, yo, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. guys need to start cutting checks, man. You guys coattailing off of my controversy. <laughs> yo, they you know literally I mean? they had they had one kid pull up in front of the place yeah, yeah, yeah. with a, with a water gun. He's like, yo. Give me the review right yeah, now. Yeah, give me the review right now. Holding people <laughs> hostage. I mean, I don't blame Sunrise. You got to do damage control, but I think it's at the point now. Like the damage is it's too done. far gone. You know, they had they had Gen Zers there doing TikToks talking about how we're gonna review the food now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, what? Yo, I think you know what we need to do. We need to in the summertime or before the summertime need to start pulling up to restaurants and doing reviews straight like up straight I'm with real that. reviews yeah, not with no that. not no sugar coat so we could no we need real reviews because i, I believe idea. sometimes people be lying when yeah, they're yeah. saying um food be tasting good or you need to be going to check out this spot because they be getting paid mm. we're not getting paid for it so yeah, which yeah. means we're going to be real with it Absolutely. and i think if we do that i think that that will pop yeah. that would no be doubt. something popping and sunrise Stop we're having, coming. We're, we're starting with we're you. We're coming and stop having white people review your food. You know, mm. just like optically, it does doesn't look great. It having the ones who say roadie, yeah, the yeah, ones yeah. who eat roadie, they eat roadie. Don't get me wrong, like you know, there's probably some white people out there that really know what good Jamaican food tastes like, but optically, it's just not a good look. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna say that. What do you, What do you think is the first thing they they order when they go into a Jamaican restaurant? Jerk chicken. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the first thing. <laughs> Can I get some jerk chicken, some roadie? Jerk chicken. And some roadie on the side there? With some oxtails? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah you yeah. guys are, you're fucked up. Yo, speaking of fuckery. Um, yeah. Let's get you, into it. Did you guys see Oscars? What the fuck happened at the Oscars? Angela Bassett. Oh, when they robbed her. And they robbed her again. They robbed her and then um, Jordan, uh, Michael B. Jordan and... Um, uh, uh, went hold on, and hold on. I did hear about that. Um... Jamie Lee Curtis did a pretty good job. Did you guys watch that movie? Stop it, sir. No, what no, no, movie no. are you talking about? Um, Everything All the Time. Oh, okay, my bad. It was, so, so it wasn't... She won. She won. Jamie she, Lee it was, Curtis it won. Wasn't, so it wasn't uh, Mike Myers or whatever, Halloween eight, Halloween movies. Because no, that movie no. came out at the same time. No, no, that, no, no, no. Jamie Lee Curtis won for Everything All at Once. I forget the name of the what movie. What is that movie about? <sighs> I, I, how do I miss that movie? Because it's uh, obviously it's not that interesting. No, it's a great movie. When I managed to wake up and that's finish what everybody it, says. It yeah, movie. you managed over to wake. That's Angela also another Bassett? thing I hear. Over, over Angela. I think Bassett. it's one of those things. It's really debatable. I don't think it's a robbery the way people are framing it. And I'll be honest. I think a lot of people are motivated to say Angela Bassett should win because she's black. If I'm being completely honest, and not because of her acting. Her acting definitely played a part, but Jamie Lee Curtis did a great job in the movie. Like, she was really good. And it's hard to describe. Like, you'd have to watch it yourself, you know? Did, did you watch the movie that Jamie Lee Curtis was in? Absolutely not. I haven't. Stewie, help me out here. You know the movie I'm talking about. See? Boom. Boom. Randy, do you know that movie? Everything yeah. Yes. <laughs> you saw it? Damn it. And how long Damn did it take it. for you to finish that? See? Okay, it wasn't one setting. <laughs> yeah, did you fall asleep? That waited. Everything all, all at one time. Yeah. Well, I seen. Okay, I seen it. Uh, so you guys say she should have won or shouldn't have won? I'm saying she. She. Her winning is not over Angela. Bassett. A bad thing. I haven't seen Angela. You, you haven't seen Wakanda forever. That's another conversation. Oh, Woman King was fire. Woman King was fire. That's, King was fire. Fire. Yeah, that's yeah. fire. That was a fire movie. That's, that's not, no. See what I mean? Do you see? I, I'm not, I'm not no. Nobody's seen that see. movie. I've never seen no. that movie. I think I may see it no. this weekend. We'll see. But okay, whatever. so you know Listen, what? Listen, Angela Bassett is a amazing, yeah, amazing absolutely. actress. Absolutely, and she's been snagged a lot of, lot of times. Yeah, absolutely, like a lot of the black actors and actresses in in the industry. It's it's nothing new. Do you mm-hmm. understand what I mean? But mm-hmm. Wakanda forever. Like, yeah, she killed it. Like, Come out. She fucking killed it. Like, you feel me? Like, but, but we really got to be objective because you guys are admitting that you saw Wakanda forever, but did not watch the Jamie Lee Curtis movie. I watched both. You understand? So I'm judging from an up, uh, objective perspective. So he's, he thinks so, he has so, the upper hand. No, I'm not saying I think. You don't remember the scene where she pulls up? Least, you should at least watch the Fine. other film. I mean, I'm just saying. It's Fine. a good movie. Are you telling me you don't remember the scene when she pulled up in the UN and she's like, 
<laughs> Yo, she don't was. get me wrong. I'm not even saying that she shouldn't have won. I'm just saying, it, to me, it's not a robbery. Mm. It's not a robbery. The way people are saying, oh, she was robbed. Like, no, it wasn't a clear-cut thing. And like I said, and I stand by this, people are saying that primarily, in because my opinion, black. because she's a black woman. Yep. Well, so. nowadays, everything's about race. And if we don't win, if we're in a category with caucasian people and we don't win it's going to be about yes. race anyways yes. yeah. whether we like it or not so yes. so maybe we should invest more time and more energy into the craft? platforms that celebrate blackness how about that i think that's uh, speaking of that the you know the whole um there's a there's a new um interest in buying back bet from i saw that. um what's the name of the company they who owns bt um don't ask oh viacom is it viacom, viacom owns yeah. bt yeah. Right, so there's a new renewed. Um, Diddy, Diddy, and his partners. Some other Diddy, his partners, and some other people um, want to buy it back. Um, How much is BT going for? Uh, What's the price tag? Oh no, I don't know. One point two bill. A, a little more than like yeah. two. Two. Yeah. 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 Probably. Bill? So? bill. Bill. Yeah, bill. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Probably. Yeah, definitely be in the billions. But It'll does anybody watch BT anymore? Like, does anybody really? I think if they rejuvenate it. Mm. First and foremost, it's like Toronto. Where's Rap City at? Yeah, there's nothing. Why don't Why don't we have a Rap City? Well, there's so that. much rappers out here that need exposure, proper exposure. Mm -hmm. Why don't we have Rap City back? But it's art music. It's art music right no, now. No, but I'm saying like I if yeah like when you when you have when you have a, a platform like that, mm -hmm. you can make music to go on platforms like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. I guess I guess the rap cities of today's age are like the podcasts, whatever podcast is out there. You know what I mean? So we could be a version of rap city. That's right. Uh, we love hip hop. Um, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> What's your issue with we love hip hop? It's no, no. Let's talk yeah, about. Yeah, it. let's get to the bottom let's of talk it. About this it. is well, this is our domain. Wait, 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 this is your domain, sister. You come on. All right, can, listen. Sure. There is n listen. I do not have nothing. No Girl, problem. I said we love hip hop, and I just felt the steam. Hit okay, it wasn't that. Okay, let me tell you something. I'm gonna tell you. See, when I'm, I'm gonna type of person like I show love to everybody. Mm -hmm. Everybody. There's nobody out here that can say that Brooklyn has ever been a hater and has not supported them. Whether it's sharing, liking, pulling up to your event, doing something, whatever it is, I've done it for free. No ask, no nothing. So when I ask you, yo, you know what I mean? You're talking crazy about the females in the industry or mm -hmm. you're not showing the females in the industry as much pt as you do the dudes or the, the or the op niggas that come on your show mm -hmm. but then you guys but then you want to sit there and talk about how whack some of the girls are and all this type of shit and Ooh. talk down to the girls or whatever or bring girls on your show to only talk about their pussy how much body counts they have this is you're not really talking about their music oh. you're downplaying females now i look at it like I've been in conversations bang, bang, where bang, ladies have bang, said, bang, 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 yo, this, bang, that, second, and a third bang. about Monday. I don't call him by his name. I call him Monday. You understand <laughs> what I mean? Because that's the day of the week that nobody likes. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, boom. When that happened now, I said to him, I was like, yo, let me come on your show. I messaged him and I was like, yo, let me come on your show. You know, I'm a female. Um, I do my I do my thing. I'm a female host. Let me come on your show and give you the females' perspective. Because people like Lola Buns and all these girls that I know personally and I talk to have said a lot of things where it's just like they feel like the girls don't get as much PT as the males do. And some of these girls' bars do come harder than some of these niggas. Sorry, out sorry, here. sorry to cut you. PT? Playing, playing time. Got it. Okay. You get what I mean? Mm -hmm. So out here, there's a lot of females that you guys know can go toe to toe with a lot of dudes out here in the game. I but agree. they don't get the PT because they rather listen to op, op music or do whatever. But mm -hmm. when the girls them are soaring is when you want to hit them up now and be like, yo, come on my show. No. Oh, so when okay. I ask you, yo, let me come on your show and talk to you, man, um, woman, to, um, to yeah, a grown ass yeah. man. Mm -hmm. Let me do that. You know what the man did? He sends me a list as into how much it would be for promo. Not not talking to me, mm -hmm. disrespecting me, talking about basically sending me his list as into how much he charges for this, um, for, for me to do promo on his page and all this type of I'm not asking you that. So I said, you know what? Cool, no problem. Boom, fast forward. This man went on went on a rampage talking about, oh, this girl, this and this girl, oh, she can suck my dick. I'm not um on, oh, on wow. live on the pod? 
bro wow. live on his little thing he's like i'm not saying that she i'm not telling it i'm not saying for her to suck my dick but da, da, da. subliminally you're telling me yeah. that so i went so you're saying there is um unbalance of coverage when it comes to the female talent and when he does cover the female talent it's usually about their sexuality yeah and, it's not about anything it's not and, about the music yeah and when he tried to downplay me and talk about i'm not for the community i'm not for the women i'm not for that my nigga go do your research my nigga i've been doing this from a long time ago you feel me i, I didn't just pick up hosting yesterday mm -hmm. i've been hosted I, I hosted at the sony center about three times already my nigga i've been out here you understand bang, with t-rex all of them bang, niggas bang, you can bang. go google me my nigga you feel me so i've been doing this so when you're out here telling me i'm not about female empowerment Every female sent from Century Sam to Lola to, to Destiny to all the Tyra, all these girls have sat on my couch and have spoken to me. I've had women empowerment meetings a yeah. lot of times. I'm always about women. So when you're telling me I'm not because I don't if I sit there and I say, I guess I must have said something about Paris, mm. one of her bars. Yeah, I said she could have came harder than that. Yeah. As a female, I'm gonna be real. As a friend, if if I'm there's nothing wrong with that. You feel me? Yeah. If I heard, Encourage if I heard that. you spit many times, and then you come now and you spit something for me, and it's not as fire as yeah, yeah. the rest of your shit that I've heard you spit, I'm gonna tell you as your homegirl, yo, my girl, I, I know you could do better. Yeah, it's, it's like destructive destiny. criticism. I tell Destiny all the time, yo, that song right there is fire, but yeah. that one right there could have been. You understand what I mean? And she takes it in. She don't look at me like I'm trying to be a hater. Yeah. So to him. He was just being mad, disrespectful, and I asked him many times for me and him to sit down, and he doesn't want to do it. So he keeps jabbing and jabbing and jabbing, and I told him, "I'm from." He'll, the he'll come around. I don't do that. He'll come around. It's you like I mean? it's like it's like six degrees of separation. Yeah, he'll yeah, be yeah, around. Yeah, yeah. I mean, would you be open to having him here and speaking about it? We can speak about. I'm a grown ass woman. I told him. I told him before to just don't get don't get out of character and yeah. don't violate because I am from the streets. I am from the hood. I yeah, like that. no, we're gonna keep it yeah, yeah, real civil. Yeah, first, as long as he yeah. doesn't, I told him many times. As long as you don't violate, violate, we good. Yeah, and yeah. we Gucci. And yeah. I do remember one tweet that got a lot of attention where he was talking about the female artist, and I think I can't pronounce her name, Nissa. She she responded and saying, "Oh yeah, you wanted me." And to his me. tweet, from what I remember, it did seem like a generalization of female rappers, which I don't agree with. You know, mm -hmm. I don't think anybody should be for generalizations right and this is what i keep telling them yeah. like why you guys continue to put the females against each other like yeah there's so much bad ass females out here goldie london like there's a bunch of them that are so dope out here that everybody always wants these girls to beef like this person or that person and yeah. what do you think about this person or that person and i keep telling them like yo these females are hot as shit just give them the pt and they'll show you because yeah. a lot of these dudes need to step to the side because these females are about to take over yeah yeah, I like what the females are doing. I could tell you this. I'm more interested in hearing from the females than I am from the dudes. The, from the dudes. Right? But then also honest. also the female content gets a little bit jarring at times. Oh, yeah, the pum-pum the, the talk. The pum-pum yeah. talk and, like, b being flued out and... Yeah, you know. yeah, but it's it you you can't really say that because it's just like with the dudes, we're tired of the hot op music. Yeah, exactly. Guys, yeah, yeah. yeah. so I guess that's sure. like, so it's like mm -hmm. it's your comfort zone. It's the comfort yeah. zone and what's hitting right now. Yeah, that's what's like out? the female equivalent to the males. So the males is about spending the block. The ops, the females is about the sex, the and money, and all of that. You know what I mean? But and I've no issue with that as long as you try to have some sort of a balance and some depth and some uh, perspective on your music. You know what I mean? When is a straight BBL talk and being flew, uh, flew out or if it's just straight ops music and spinning the block. If that's like your entire catalog, then that's when I find it problematic. So, yeah, so it's not so much about you talking you know, about it. It's about you talking about it all the time. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, uh, you and... You and I'm gonna call him Friday because my I have no issue with uh, I almost called him Monday. <laughs> I have no issue with Friday. Um, I like what he's doing, but yeah, I would love to have you guys. Uh, That's cool. Able to talk It'll about happen. It, Fri you know? um, see, I almost called him that too. Yeah. But Monday, you already know what time it is. He knows how to hit me up. Hit me up, and Gutsy's trying to get us together too. So it's it'd like, be great, yeah, and I so. think um, everybody could benefit from being on each other's platforms and. You know, growing the business. Is that your phone going off? Gutsy's I'm Gutsy's the most funniest one. guy on, on IG. Who I Gutsy? Yeah, yeah. I love him, man. I love Gutsy. I love his the energy. videos that he be putting up yeah, had yeah. me screaming. I love what he's doing. And he's so supportive too. Yo, so I have a I have a question for y'all. Morant, what do you guys think about that? John, a gun. Oh, the kid? Yeah. How old is he? How old is he? Twenty twenty three. John Moran. 
You know when you're 23 and you make that kind of money? Mm-hmm. Um, you get in, easily influenced. I, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give him. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give him some grace. He fucked up. You know, he's gonna learn, and then he's gonna bounce back. The guy has so much more years ahead hold of on, him. Hold on. Yes, he has 15 years ahead Are of you him. You sure he's gonna learn? Are you positive? Yeah, he's gonna learn. Yeah. What you tell? Hold on. Is he so? Is there something I'm missing? Is this guy? Is he like? Are we? Do we have an Aaron Hernandez situation on our hands? From what I've heard, he's fucked up more than once. He's no, like no, a no. Whole, but, but hold on. Do he's we have a an Aaron fuck upper? Yeah, but do we have he's an like, Aaron Hernandez situation on our hands? The man has what the seventeen year old that yeah, allegedly yeah. he punched and um what, yeah. pulled out a gun out. When him. August. I don't know when it was. It was in August. No, it doesn't matter when it was. The fact that he did he it beating was... up a minor. Like, <laughs> he's not a minor. He's not a minor. Over seventeen. A game, You're seventeen. You talk. You dog ish. You dog it on me. <laughs> Semi young adult. Like, what are you talking about? Then the volleyball about? game. Seventeen year old. Okay. His, well, at, at the time, he's maybe tw- no, twenty-two. Then his That's five years. Volleyball game. That you know somebody was mouthing something off to his sister, and he felt the need to you know get involved in that little. If I'm incident. making that much money. <laughs> I'll get somebody to handle my shit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not risking all of my money, my 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 family's wealth. But and keep in mind, this kid's been sheltered all his life. So but my thing is, is listen. This is this is what people fail to understand. You, everybody wants to be a thug and everybody wants to be a gangster and all this until the consequences hit behind mm. being a thug yes. and being. Somebody's going to test. You understand gangster. what I mean? Yeah. So mm-hmm. now the NBA is testing your gangster, homie. You want to be out here brandishing guns and doing all that type of stuff when you making millions of, of dollars? Like, yeah, sit your ass down on the bench mm. indefinitely until we decide. Indefinitely, you know yeah, what I right, mean? Yeah, that's what it is. It means forever. Yeah. Until the investigation, until all of that stuff is over, like right now you're. And we don't know what could nothing. possibly come out of the woodworks, too, right? There could be just shit simmering, and that's what's happening. And just come out, so you know, even like you know, next week we can hear something. Yeah, John Morant, you know, he was with you know this freaking sixteen year old girl. Not to put that on him, oh, but no. no, I'm not putting that on him. But I'm mm. just saying, if he's doing um, stupid shit in front of the camera, God only knows what he's doing behind the camera. True. So that's all I'm saying. I just hope we don't have an Aaron Hernandez situation in our hands. I don't know because you know you remember what Aaron Hernandez did, right? Like yeah, he yeah, mur- yeah. He, I watched murked, the documentary. Uh, yeah, he murked. He murked a couple people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And then and then he and then he offed himself. Yeah, in jail. And well, that's his, a little different his, because. I think they examined his brain and he had some CTE. Yeah, 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 he was going through something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a lot of football players like From Ray Caruth murdered um, concussions and stuff like that. Yeah, Ray Caruth murdered um, his side chick who was pregnant with his child. Like, there's a long list of football players who've done like shit that you would never think they would do. Yo, speaking of the sports stuff, one of our hometown heroes, Andrew Wiggins. Did you hear about Andrew Wiggins' situation? It's like in the last 48 hours. Okay, it's just a rumor. So the rumor... No, no, I mean... It's a rumor. It's a rumor. It's a rumor. We got we to gotta be... Graceful. Graceful. Tread lightly, mm. right? Because we're in journalism. Mm. We're a media outlet. Allegedly. Allegedly, his girlfriend, wife, baby mother cheated on him with his best friend. And allegedly, one of the children or both children are All not of, his. yeah. Hometown hero. Yeah. But like I said. Shit's fucked up. It's not official. It's not confirmed. But what, if one, thing's for, one thing's confirmed is that he, he's sitting out the whole season. Yeah. 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 He's sitting out. He's like, Yo, I'm, I, I got to take care of my, I got to take care of this shit. I'm out. And the, and, thing, it, <laughs> and the thing that made me raise my eyebrows, she came out to speak against the rumor, but he didn't. So I'm saying if I have my wife or my girlfriend or my baby mom being accused of of cheating on me with my best friend and having children that are not mine, I would at least come out and defend that. But he hasn't said nothing mm. against the rumor. So that was a red flag to me. <laughs> yeah. So what would you do in that situation? It, listen, let me tell you, let me explain something to you. When I say all the time that guys, when I say guys are dirt squirrels, 
there's women that are dirtier squirrels out here. Absolutely. You understand? Yeah. And this is what I'm talking about <laughs> when I say that, guys, you need to stay 10 toes down and know your surroundings <clears throat> and know the people that are around you and the girls that you're sleeping with. Because not every bad bitch out here is for you. Yeah. Sometimes it's the average Joe girl. The girl next door is the girl that will hold you down. These little thirsty thoughts out here will sleep with your brother, sleep with your teammates, and still hug up with you and cry because you're cheating on her, but low-key, she's right. fucking your nigga. Yeah, yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Like, why are you going through that? The man's making millions of dollars, and now he's sitting out, could possibly win another ring, championship ring. He's not going to win a ring. He's Excuse sitting me, out. first, stop. Stop the disrespect. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, no, no, for, no he, he, he said, I'm sitting out the whole season. No, that's fine. E even, no, but I'm oh, saying yeah, yeah, the fact the that wins, he played a, a major yeah, yeah, role yeah, yeah, last right. year in them winning that ring. Mm -hmm. Yeah. His focus should have been winning another ring. Absolutely. But instead of that, you a thirsty ass bitch. Hold on, hold decided, on. Allegedly. Sorry, allegedly yeah. decided to go behind this man's back in a time where playoff time, clinching playoff spot mm -hmm. is very around the crucial. Corner, yeah, around the corner. You're deciding to come out and do this right now yeah. out of all times. You understand what I mean? Like, this is what I'm saying when girls are out here for themselves. The cheating is one thing. Obviously, the part. If you want to break a man, if you want to break a good man, tell him that his child or his children aren't his. If you want to shatter a man and what is shatter, the motivation and, and behind shatter a, a, a child's life, mm -hmm. do that. Bro. What's the motivation behind that? It, do we know the homeboy? Do we know if his homeboy is, is, is a ball player too? Like, like we don't even know if it's true. So okay. that's Listen. the problem. Okay, allegedly. allegedly. But this one's not allegedly. I had a friend, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. I'm not uh -oh. going to say no names, but I had a friend. Okay. 13 years. He had a son Stop. or thought he had a son for 13 years through the 13 years. Everybody kept telling him, yo, this broad, blah, 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 blah. You know, she's out here thirsty thought and whatever, but he believed in her, whatever the case may be. So now whatever wife's did, boom, had a, I'm sorry, had a kid. So, um, 13 years, boom. All of a sudden now, the kid's getting older. He's realizing that the kid's not looking like him. Like <laughs> certain features are not whatever. So him now, he decided, fuck that. Let me go get a test. The man got a test done. Found out 13 years later, that kid wasn't even his at all. During those 13 years, that girl was on Twitter, Instagram, every social media dogging this nigga, saying that he's not taking care of his kids, he's not doing this, he's not doing that. When the man was buying clothes, doing all this type of shit, you were taking money, doing mm -hmm. your hair, doing whatever you want, and you dogged him for 13 years. The man lost, um, he was he was doing mad good, like people stopped booking him, all this type of shit. And then come to find out that kid wasn't his. Like, you understand what I mean? What are you really going to say to I this I wonder nigga? if it's the same dude, because I remember there was a video... Of a guy oh, yeah, sharing the same is. story. That's my boy. Yeah, that's, that's your boy? boy? Roche. You understand me? Roche. Wow. And I remember posting it on my Facebook. You, and uh, That shit was hard. Like, yeah. it's hard. And the thing about it, we were all friends. We were all friends. You feel me? His, the, the, the chick, like, we were all friends. You feel me? So it's just like, when, when it came out, it hurt. Because it was just like, bro. Third, and come to find out, it was with his friend. His best friend at that that he chilled with every day, bro. Mm. Let me ask you a question. Yo. You find out, hypothetically, obviously, mm. Mm -hmm. right? Because we know your kids are yours. <laughs> hypothetically, you find out that, you know, your My, child is not yours. Do yeah. you continue being a father to that child? How do you handle that? What do you do? Um, you know what? Uh, yeah. The good guy in me says, oh, of course, I'll be around. Yeah, yeah. You know, the good guy in me. I have a good guy in me. Yeah. Right? But then, you know, the, the ratchet in me will be like, yo, I'm free. <laughs> Get me the fuck out of there. Okay. Get back me the fuck the out of there. Back, back to the motherfucking streets. <laughs> what advice do you give? Get me to the street. <laughs> what advice do you give to your male friend in that situation? What do you tell him? In, in that situation, I just tell him keep his head up and know that at the end of the day, like, if you can, if you... As a, as a man want to stay in that child's life, I can't tell you not to. It's up to you because I don't know how you feel as a man. And okay. I don't know the relationship that you have. What's your gut you tell have. you? But you, my you, gut is, yo, I'm Audi, 5,000. We're Audi. But at the end of the day, it's not about it's not about him and, and, and what her. Did you now say? It's a, it's, I'm Audi, 5,000? No, I'm Audi, 5,000. But <laughs> in real life, it's one yes. of those things where it's just like, it's not about you. It's about the kid now. Yeah. And the relationship that, I, that he has now yeah. built with that child yeah. is like, he's been a father figure to him. For he, 13, he's so whatever, dead. yeah. yeah. So to him, regardless yeah. if another man comes into his life, I I told him already. I'm like, yo, I'll stand. We'll stand with you if you want to do that. But he decided 
that's not the route that he wanted to go mm. because of the like I said, the child started to change. At thirteen though, attitude, at thirteen though, his attitude started to change towards him. Do you understand what I mean? So it wasn't like he didn't want to do it. It was more of a okay. So now. Okay, she feeding you, sir. So, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah. So now it made it easier for him to. Yeah, yeah, and now God. guess what? God blessed him, and now he has a beautiful daughter. Oh, so, you know, nice. so crazy is that nice. you know I I feel like his situation was kind of off. I would have sticked around at the thirteen. I just I just get. Is there a law in Canada where I can I can take her to jail? To That's court? what I told him. Take her to Probably court not. for. There's, there's no there's, there's, there's no law. There's no law. There's, there's, there's no metric. And that's for that. the problem with a lot of males out here. I tell them all the time. You guys need to know your rights when it comes to certain things. A lot of men don't know their legal rights when it comes to things like this. But I, I don't think you can retroactively be like, hey, I I spent this much money on her for thirteen years. But it's okay. For, but it's okay for the woman to do that though. Go to court and say, I've spent, for 13 years, yeah, I've spent yeah. money, so I need child support for this. That's yeah. okay, though. Uh, you, you know That's what? Okay. And it's also it's also, it's also also beating up a, a dead cow or, or dead mule. You know what I mean? Like, like what money are you going to get out of her? If you've been, if you've been, you know what I mean? If you've been, you know probably, you yeah, she probably if you've been taking, she, yeah, she probably has nothing to give you. You know what? Maybe. So why go through the whole, through, through the yeah. whole that, You know what? Maybe role. because I don't have kids, I, 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 I think different, and I, you understand what I no, mean? No, but you're not wrong. Both of you but guys are not wrong. Yeah, I know I'm not wrong, but some people may look at this and be like, Brooklyn, no, 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 like, like, yeah, you'd want her to pay somehow, right? Right? And mm -hmm. monetary is probably like one of the best ways to get at somebody. Mm -hmm. But if they ain't got shit to give. But when the man ain't got shit to give, you still got to give something. Yeah, player. I don't agree with that either. You know what I mean? Me personally, I would have to. I'd probably stay in the child's life. Yeah, after, after you know. I, 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 after a certain amount of time, yeah. it's just like, yo. After three years old, it's like, it's kind of tricky because yeah. um, after, at three years old, the kid will forget you. The kid could forget you and like yeah. move on. But anything after that, like a four-year-old's fucking smart. That's a five-year-old's really smart. That is six-year-old's even smarter. Yo, that shit is fucking evil. Yeah. So you know, I feel I feel like women have like a, a natural innate, you know, to lie um, and be evil. No, ah! no. <laughs> No, oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to. Because y'all be <laughs> y'all be lying and cheating <laughs> and doing yeah, a lie. Yeah, that's true. No, I feel I feel like women have a natural innate. Um, the like compass, no, a compass. Oh, oh you wow! Still doing it. He's still like, doing it. A compass, a compass, a compass to like know. Hey, um, that man, I'm I'm holding this man's child. Like a woman shouldn't. I feel like women know that naturally. I don't know. Like, but here, if there's a possibility that that child is not that man's, you should let them know. Yeah, right, because they know who they're fucking. Obviously, yeah. Uh, so you yes. should know. Yeah. So you could be wrong. Maybe. The father is a person who you think it is. But if there's a possibility he may not be the father, you got to be forthright with that shit. Yeah. The circle, though. That's why I tell people the circle, though. Like, you I smash know. within the circle, I know. though. That's a violation right there. And all, like, I don't believe in that. Like, Thoughts you're and out of my so circle. All. Once you smash my... And the best friend is a piece of shit, too. The dude's that's best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he's a low life. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I hope he's not a ball player. He's probably he's probably one of his entourage. If he's one of if it's one of his entourage, it's that's wild. Are you not listening? Yeah. It, was. it was. They were close, like yeah. close. Just homie. Yeah, but but you know, it could, be, it could be a ball group, player. Everything. It could be a ball player. Hold on, no, no. hold on. I'm talking about her homie. I was talking you're about, talking about Andrew. Wiggins. Yeah. Oh, oh Wiggy. Oh yeah. Wiggy. Oh poor Wiggy. Oh, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. it I, I I just got to know if the, 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 the rumors are real though. Before Listen, I didn't man. say anything. Wiggy, else. keep your head up, man. Yeah, if yeah. this rumor is allegedly true, keep your it head up. It came in the last forty eight hours. It, it, he's gonna be he's gonna be, you know, on demon time for a bit, ladies. Just know that. <laughs> Yo, speaking of demon time, um, there's a new phenomena phenomenon rather. Mm -hmm. Um you know, people from Canada, people from the US uh -huh. um going to like Latin America, Ooh. going to the Philippines. Ooh. Um, anywhere but here, <laughs> picking up women, Ooh. trying to marry. Oh my god! Passport and bros. They're called passport bros, oh and god. and their whole idea is, um, people, uh, women who live in like North America or in Europe, in UK, Australia, like the West, quote unquote. Um, the women are no longer wifey material. Get your Taiwanese queen, Playboy. <laughs> <laughs> so see so these men's these men's. They have a they have a Facebook group. Oh my god! I've been investigating the Facebook group. It's fucking hilarious. Oh my god! These guys are posting travel tips to Colombia. You go to Colombia here. You gotta watch out for these kind of girls. Don't talk to these kind of women. The best women live in this area. You can find a wife in the Philippines. It's like 
So they want traditional women. They want traditional women. Their whole idea is like the women who live in the United States and Canada and the UK and Australia, they're no longer traditional women. And they're yeah. tired of the, 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 the BS. And <sighs> the thoughts. The thoughts. Okay. You know, they're tired of <laughs> the women running on wings and Hennessy all day. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, that's. So bad. You're tired of oh, that. Man, whoa. Uh, I said wings and Hennessy. That's what they run on. Oh, wings, oh Hennessy, God. and hookah. <laughs> that's what they run on now. And, and a little bit of Casamigos. A little bit of Casamigos. No, actually, no, a lot more on the Casamigos. Casamigos is going to be the drink of the summer, there anyways. But, anyways, let's move on. Uh, yeah. There's a huge controversy, and, like, in, uh, and like there's a lot of um, American brother, uh, American sisters, rather, who are clapping back and just making jokes about these guys. And, like, they're basically laughing stocks. Um. Pfft. Interesting, but I don't understand the woman's perspective about laughing at them going overseas. So they're saying, "Oh yeah, you go ahead and go go pick up a, a Filipino girl. You're like you're like on the bottom of the barrel list here to us." Uh, but then, wouldn't that kind of feed into like the passport bros narrative? But like, yeah, see, look how these women are talking about us. Uh, you know, I don't know. I don't know what to make of it. I think honestly, women. Should probably follow suit. Like, if you're having a hard time finding a man out here in North America or in Toronto, yeah, go outside of your comfort zone and see what's out there in the world yeah. and find yourself, you know, a potential que- uh, a potential king. I mean, I mean, what do you think, Brooklyn? Would you would you ever travel to find? Excuse me. Oh, sorry. The most that I've done is is the states. Yeah, uh, the states. Yeah. Like, so you won't go to Nigeria, pick up a nice Niger brother. Absolutely brother. not. Nice Niger brother. How? Absolutely Why not. Why not? Because. <laughs> because what? Sorry. You don't want to burn a boy? No, no. Well, I want to hear find, what You can find a burn a boy quickly. No, uh, no. Um, you know what it is? I love Nigerians. I love my Ghanians and, and things of that nature. But I'm just a Caribbean. Like, you know what I mean? My background's Caribbean. So, the, you know, it's. So, would you travel to the Caribbean to, for a husband? Especially when it comes to the food and stuff like that. I'm very picky. Mm. You feel me? Mm. So, I need to. I don't mind embracing people's culture, but when it comes to certain like, so you can't eat jollof rice all the time. I've never had jollof rice a day in my life. I've and never had roti a day in my life. What? Um, no, sorry, I have, but I didn't like it when I was a kid. So I don't know if it was the person who made it, but would you I travel think. to the Caribbean for for potential what? hubby, a king? No, no, Why no. Not? My 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 aunt tried to make me like marry one one time. Why not? A Jamaican guy? Yeah, a Jamaican guy. And then after that, it was, every time I went to Jamaica after that, was a... Uh, Awkward. I can't, no, I'm telling you off the rip, I can't give you a visa. So oh. I can't marry you, I can't give you a visa. Um, nah, and then, until my, my family had to tell me, like, yo, you can't be telling people that. Of course I can. Yeah. Because if I let them know there's no expectations, like, don't try to be extra nice and try to cook me dinner and all these type of things. Yeah. Um, nah, I can't do the... Mm-mm. What are your views on the passport, bros? What do you um... Think? Because you're actually married. Yeah. So what's your view? It's it's funny. It's funny. You th- yeah? Would yeah. you marry? Would you do that? Uh, n- uh. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Grand. I wouldn't. I, I, can't, I can't get past the accents. 20 grand. 50. Because they be paying. They be paying some. No, block. no. These girls don't pay. No, I'm saying in general. They be paying people. Oh, to, to, you, know, I, I, people. you know what? There's, for me, my, my, uh, my, um. My 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 th- my th- my moral in life is this: there's no price there's no price tag on a peace of mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you know, you give me fifty k to fake a wedding to fake a marriage, no thanks. But that's something different, though, right? But I'm. Saying I think that's what you're alluding to, right? Were you alluding, were you, were you alluding to I that? I think yeah, that's no, what no, she's no, talking about. No, I was just asking you that because people do do that. Yeah, I would never do that. I would never do that. Fifty k to. But if you were single and you were having a hard time finding someone who you know ticks off all your boxes, what's your background, by the way? I told you, I'm, you, know, you know this, I'm Somali. You're Somali, right? Yeah. And you wanted Somali women, you know, someone, you know, culturally came up the way, same way you My did. girl's not Somali, by the way, but go ahead. Okay, hypothetically, mm-hmm. you know, matched all your values and everything. You you wouldn't travel to Somalia and... I can't. No? No. No? I'm Canadian. Okay, yeah, yeah. I've never been to Africa. I've been, all over, I've been all over Caribbeans, I've been all over Latin America. I've never been to Africa yet. Okay. Okay. I get it. I've never been to Africa yet. I get it. Um, but you know, I do see why guys would do it. Yeah, because it's it's fucking weird out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like you know, yeah. You no, know, we you know from time to time, you know, you chat up somebody and you know. 
But I also think the motivation for some of those guys is to have someone that they could kind of maybe maintain a level of control over. That's a yeah. fact. Right? I see. The, here's the thing. Here's my investigation fact. is um, those, most of those guys who are in, those pa- in the passport group, passport bros group, I, I, I encourage everybody to join it. It's fucking hilarious. Mm-hmm. Most of those guys are in their, fo- in their late 40s, 50s. And they're obese. Oh my god! Um, mm. The ones that can't find mm, it makes body. okay it makes sense. Oh, it's making sense. It makes yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. Guys who are like knocking on uh, like seventy year old, six year old, seven year old guys. Sometimes I saw. I swear to God, one guy's like, "I'm seventy five. Here's my here's my twenty two year old Filipino wife." Oh, got it. Viagra. Okay. These guys are knocking yeah, on yeah, heaven's yeah, door. Yeah, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can see the girl's face. She can see the girl's face. She's like, she's like so happy. She's like, I am going to get those security checks. Yeah, <laughs> I am so happy. Got it. <laughs> you got know, it. got it, got it. But yeah, I know it's a, it's it's a it's a hilarious phenomenon because like, and also there's some young guys who are showing um, videos of Colombia, and like mm. Colombia, yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get crazy. it. Crazy. I get it. I have a question for you guys. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, do you guys believe that? Krishan should keep her child. Is she even pregnant? Yes, she is. Come on, I don't think she's pregnant. Why? Why that looks like that looks like she's blown. <laughs> okay, don't don't do that. I don't know. Okay, <laughs> don't do bro. <coughs> she looks, yo, I, she looks bloated right now. Stop the nonsense. She, First question I'm gonna ask: Does Blue Face want her to have the child? He, does he ever want her to have the child? I don't know. I I can't call no. it with them. Like I don't no. know. I think um, in situations where a woman is pregnant and the father is making it clear he doesn't want to be a father, you're taking a huge life-changing risk by having that baby, right? Because I would assume that a father who says he does, or not I shouldn't say a father, a man who says he doesn't want to be a father, he's not going to be there. Mm. So you're going to be a statistic. So Krishan has to ask herself, is she okay with being a statistic? She's already a statistic, sweetheart. I know. But Did you see those? Be a single mother with the open domestic violence, making it seem like it's cool to do that shit. Mm-hmm. Like that shit ain't. Like, yeah. that, that shit ain't cool. You feel me? And it's just like blue face. You just had a daughter, and it's like this yeah. is what you want your daughter to grow up to. Let yeah. her feel like it's okay to put her hands on. I'm not saying Krishan's right either for putting yeah. her hands on blue face, but both of y'all are just crazy. If I'm a friend to Krishan. I would ask her some uncomfortable questions, but um, to me, it doesn't seem like a good idea. Did you see? Um, did you see uh, how she looked like before she got with Blueface? Yeah. <laughs> how healthy she looked. Yeah. But they're, they're, I, I feel like they're a match made in hell. I think they're perfect for each other. Match, match, match made in hell. Made yeah, in they're perfect hell. for each other. I'm not even upset that they're together. Like I think they're perfect. <laughs> in. Like in a bad way, like they're like, like in Tina. Yeah, because like <laughs> I think they're bad for each other, and like they're bad together. So go be bad together. I think Krishan is fucked up. Blue face is fucked up. Do you like you know what I mean? Because I don't think Krishan is innocent in this whole thing. I don't She's think not. so. So she be knocking him out, like yeah, punching him in the yeah, face, busting up his yeah, face. Like she be doing a whole lot. Yeah, so I think they're perfect for each other, man. I think you perfect. know. You know what I don't like about uh, big uh, blue face is that. He came to the, he came in the game with subpar var, uh, bars, and all of a sudden, um, you know he does he he, he hasn't sold any, any any music after mm-hmm. his last album, and now he's doing celebrity boxing, right? He's well, a, he's he, not an artist. He's not an artist at heart. He so. came out as an artist. Yeah, I mean, rap is Tatiana low. Bustiana. Rap is low hanging fruit. Freaking the it outside is. girl is an artist. It is for God's sake. So anybody could be an artist, but you know, at some point, you know, your artistry is limited. So you're going to have to find something outside of that because that's not making money anymore. So we're doing a reality thing, uh, reality TV thing. And from what I've seen, it seems like it's working. Um, people are tuning in to the toxicity. They like it. So, I mean, more power to him. But, you know, he was never, I never considered him a rapper or, you know, anything that is musically worthy of any accolades or any praise. He's always been garbage. And I think deep down inside he knows that. But, um you know, at some point you have to move on to other things, you know. So you'll see that with a lot of artists. I think the same thing could be possible for Ice Spice, I think. Icy Spice. Icy Spice? Is that no, how you Ice say it? Spice. No, Ice Spice. Spice, okay. I, I, I don't know. I'm not convinced about her either. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, so you'll see artists, you know, come in as artists yeah. and then over the years kind of just fade into other things because 
you know, they're not an artist artist. You get what I'm saying? So I've, I thought about that with her a couple, a couple days ago, but then I heard her song on the radio. I don't know the name of the song, mm-hmm. but she was, her flow got better. Okay. Her flow got better. God, do you remember? Do you remember? So how that's the caveat. If she's actually working on it and mm. wants to improve, and she's taking it serious, yeah, 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 she could survive. Do you remember how shitty Cardi B was in the beginning? <sighs> Cardi B was shitty in the beginning. From what I understand, yes, I was. She was garbage. Yeah, because yeah, she never used to. Um, so she got some eight. good ghostwriters. Is is that what you're saying? What happened? Yeah, and they taught her how to fucking flow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But she, the one thing I liked about Cardi B is her personality. Yeah, that's. That's what I found. That's what made her appealing mm-hmm. and attractive. That's what drawing yeah. people to her yeah. um, when she did Love and Hip Hop, yeah. and she right there was just like yeah. she was just weird. The girl with the fucked up yeah. teeth that was a stripper, yes. a stripper trying to turn rapper and all that type of stuff, and it was like nobody was giving her no play yeah. or whatever. And then all of a sudden, Col- um, Bodak Yellow came out and boom, yeah. she fixed her teeth and it was fixed game over. Game yeah. over. Is she more? Is she more known for the music, or is it like the personality part? Cardi, yeah. No, she's about the music right now. Yeah, right okay. now. But if yeah, if if you're if you're just coming into the game, she'll be known for her music. But yeah. anybody who's been following her yeah. knows that she, yeah, yeah, she's been a character. I like she, her. She seems that. like a even on Instagram, chick. she was yeah. a character. Like she would always tape herself in the in the strip club and stuff like that. Even before she was on Love and Hip Hop, I saw I saw a photo, um, her and Benny the Butcher. Mm-hmm. And she was stripping, and Benny the Butcher was throwing ones at her. And this is like back in like 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And okay. so it's like times have changed. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Now she's on top. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Benny the Butcher is like, I guess he's yeah, he's up there. He's like one of the one of the best rappers yeah, in this yeah. decade. Yeah, he is Benny yeah. the Butcher. Yeah. He is top top ten. Um, so we're the, the year is like we're half almost halfway through the year. Yeah, we are, and. Sorry, sorry. I'm just no. Bishop just I, messaged. I know. Uh, messaged me. Um, what's um, who? Uh, which albums are you? In Toronto, are you looking out for? Woo! It's so hard to keep up with. And who do you want to see? That's a better question. Who do I want to hear from? Who? I want to hear from Junk in Vancouver. I want to hear from Ashton Francis. Um, mm. um. I want to hear from Lola Buns. I want to hear from Paris. I want to hear from Nana. I want to hear from Kokanee. N- Nana Goody? Nana Goody. I think she's done. What do you mean, done what? She says she's done with music. She told, what do you mean? She posted a couple weeks ago. She's like, I'm done with music. She really did? Yeah, yeah and you know what? That's 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 tragic because Nana Goody, she's actually one of the girls that I always said can spit. Like, oh, yeah. Nana Goody, her bars be coming hard. Like, and I get what she means. Like, they be looking past her a lot, like looking over her and other girls be getting PT. So I get where she's coming from. But Nana, if you're listening, my girl, like keep it pushing, bro. Like keep it, like keep doing what you're doing. Stay 10 toes down to your craft because she's actually nice. Yeah. Like you feel me? And sometimes, sometimes I keep telling these ladies out here, stop opening these doors and kick them the fuck down. Yeah. Mm. Stop opening these motherfucking doors bang, and we got to kick them the fuck down with our heels, our Jordans, whatever the fuck we need to do and let them know that we're here. Because it doesn't come that simple for us as females, and we should know that by now. Like, giving up like that, don't do that, Nana. Don't do that, please. She's getting a BBL done right now, so. so Did she tell you that? She, she, she's on IG in Colombia. Getting Really? It? Yeah. Go fucking follow her on IG. Is that she, what she really doing? She's in Colombia right now. She's like, got a BBL Sounds done. like she's making a career change, yo. What? What? Oh, wow. To all the ladies out there. <laughs> <laughs> she's like you know she you know she posted as soon as she had yo, the all done things, she's yo, like she's like she's like things don't. be get going in i'm on her ig right now things be going in and out of style just like hairstyles and body types body types outfits everything do you understand yeah a lot of you women have yet to develop period and you out here tucking and sucking and plucking and doing all that type of shit like bro like it is what it is. Can like, you get Nana to the podcast? I like to talk to her. Oh, Nana? Yeah, Nana Goody. Do you know her personally? Or? I've, I've t- I don't know her personal like, thing. Yeah. She fuck with some of the people that I fuck with. But um, other than that, I could probably reach out to probably she, D. Probably Destiny can get a hold of her. She seems like an interesting personality. I wouldn't mind chopping it up with she her. She has a lot of anger in her. You could tell that she, like, like 
she she reminds me of Cardi when Cardi first came mm-hmm. out and she was like hungry yeah. and nobody would listen to her uh-huh. and then but the difference is, is Cardi didn't give a fuck like she kept knocking down those doors yeah. until she didn't give a, she didn't care about Swift is it Swift what's his name from Love and Hip Hop DJ Oh MV? no it's not MV no I don't know who you're talking about you guys don't watch Love and Hip Hop no 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 no, no I See, don't I was not. here pretending like, yeah, uh, that why guy. not um I honestly uh, I don't, know. I don't like watching black trauma. Yeah, he's pro black. I don't like watching black trauma. I'm so sorry. I haven't seen an episode of 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 The Wire either. Yeah. Well, oh, thank you. BMF. I won't watch that either. I don't like black trauma. Mm-hmm. I gotta respect it. Uh, I don't like watching consistent. it. Yeah, he's consistent. I don't. I've never seen an episode of of The Wire. I yeah, swear. I respect it. Okay. It's it's because like I I lived I live it every day when I was growing up. You know what I mean? Like I'm, I'm you know what I mean? It's like it's like yeah. I don't want to watch it. it I'd rather watch sci-fi shit so I can get my mind off the ghetto. You know what I mean? Yeah, get my yeah. mind off the hood. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, I, I'm sorry. I can't. No, no, it makes sense. I get it, and you're consistent. So you know what I mean? I respect I that. You're consistent with it, and that's yeah. that's cool. Yeah, yeah, I prefer I prefer to watch sci-fi over anything. You know? Yeah. I, I hate when they when they when they br- and they bring it back to us, and they're like, like here, take your take your traumas and enjoy it. It's like. No thanks. And that's kind of where I'm at with the music. When I hear like certain songs, it's yeah. like, you know, promoting black murder. And it's just yeah. like, yo, I'm turned off. I don't want to hear it. I've heard it so many times. And it, and it bothers me. It genuinely bothers me when I hear how uh, rappers talk about, you know, someone that looks like you or someone that looks like her. Look at the camera and tell, tell the rappers what they, what they need to do now. You know what? I, listen, I've been in trouble with a couple rappers. Just do it. And I don't know. I'm trying to be a good boy. I'm trying to be hate. <laughs> Matt said, I've been in trouble uh, with a I've couple I've been in rap. trouble with a few rappers. Did somebody just knock? Yeah, like the cops. Okay, see, that's perfect timing. So I'll give that warning maybe the next time we shoot here. Um, I think Bishop is here. Yeah. yeah. Bring us out. Oh, um... Uh, that is it. Episode five one eight. Five eighteen. You know what? Or five nineteen. That is it from Steady Mobbing Podcast. Episode five two one. Hey Bishop, we're coming up to get you, buddy. Freezing. <laughs> okay, oh. okay, okay. We're coming up. That is it. Later. All right, yo, we out, we out. All this right, is bye. this is Steady Mobbing. Weird this as is, hell, but bye everybody. This is yeah. the uh, first episode with Brooklyn. Please like and subscribe. We got more coming out. Yes, we do. Shout out to the Waterfront Studios. If you got want to get your podcast done, pull up. <laughs>